readers, it's Lori. Welcome back to my channel, Books, Ink, and Paper. Today, I am actually doing a Throwback Thursday, which I haven't done in a while. Uh, I don't know why, just kind of got out of the habit, but today, I'm going to talk about one of my favorite series of novels, and they're old, and what has sort of I guess, informed my love of some of the things that I talk about here on this channel. I was raised by parents who were 39 and 40 when I was born, and my sisters were both 12 and 14 when I was born. So I had a very different experience, I guess, as a child from maybe some other people who were born to younger parents with siblings who were closer in age. And one of those experiences was that I was exposed to different novels that I may not have been exposed to had my family been younger and closer together in age. And one of those series is the Williamsburg novels written by Ellsworth Thane. Now I have them all thanks to my sister Diane who um, after Katrina replaced them all for me. Um, and had a, another copy of them prior to that, and I have them all again now. And these were published between, I think, around 47 into the 60s. And I was born, as you may have seen in a couple of other uh, videos ago, in 1961. So while these were contemporary for them at that time, I wasn't introduced to reading them until, of course, I was a bit older. But I was a teenager when my sisters first said, hey, these would be really good. So... This is called the Williamsburg Novel Series, which also informs my love of Colonial Williamsburg and visiting there as often as I can. And this series of novels, which I'm going to lift up now, <laughs> some have jacket covers, some do not, covers a span of uh, from Dawn's Early Light, which is the first one, to Homing, which is the last in the series, covers a span from the American Revolution to World War II. So now you can see where my love of historical fiction, and in particular those two eras, has really begun. Again, book number one, as you can see, is Dawn's Early Light. I'm not holding this very well. Um, and this covers colonial Williamsburg era set in Virginia. Ellsworth Thane lived in Virginia for a time and so I think she did a lot of research while she was there probably at the College of William and Mary. She um, lived a lot in New York and New England and even in England for a bit. She did a um, historical research period there at the at the British Museum, I think, which I'm sure helped her in a number of ways in creating these novels. She covers the Sprague's, the Campions, the Day family, a number of families uh, throughout. So Dawn's Early Light is book number one. Then Yankee Stranger is book number two. Ever After is book number three. The Light Heart, which may be my favorite, is book number four. Kissing Kin is book number five. This Was Tomorrow is dirty. <laughs> this Was Tomorrow is book number six. And the last is Homing, book number seven, which you can see is a little bit more modernized. This also has historical family timelines. This is the Days and the Sprague family from mm -hmm. 1758 all the way to 1933. So again, this one uh, begins the era of World War II <clears throat> and follows this family all through that span. Now, these are historical romance novels. Again, they're older in, in publication and in um, feel, but they are historical romances, which was also something that has kind of was born for me out of these novels that were introduced to me by my sisters in particular and by my mom who 
all loved them very, very much. So if you've never taken a look at Ellsworth Thane and these particular novels and you like that era and you like historical fiction, I encourage you to take a look. They're, uh, again, just beautiful historical novels that really follow one particular family and what occurs with them over time. And because of the span of these novels, to me, it was, um, it's no surprise now how much I still continue to read and enjoy around these eras and that span of time. And I'm so grateful for my sister for replacing them for me. If you've taken a look at these, if you've ever heard of Ellsworth Thane, I'd love to know, and it would surprise me, I guess, but I think she was well-read and well-loved uh, in the 40s to 60s in that era. So I'd be interested and curious to see how many of you may have heard of her. And if you haven't, and she looks like an author you'd like to take a look at, I encourage you to do that and let me know if you like them or not. And as always, happy reading. Bye. Mm -hmm.